calling the police officer Officer Copper really entertained me, primarily because I'm assuming young children watching Mickey Mouse and the Roadster Racers in a country other than England or Britain is not going to be aware that police officers in the UK are called coppers. And that's something that I just thought was a little maybe in-joke, if you like. And I was really pleased to see that this episode was set in the UK, specifically in London. And I always love seeing London in animation because I just love seeing the landmarks in cartoon form. It just makes me so happy. You know, living in London, it's nice to see them looking all shiny and polished and beautiful. And what they have done with the skyline in this is stunning. This is, of course, the old royal heist, which I believe they pronounced ye old royal heist, which is not correct. Um, which is the first segment of the seventh episode of the first season of Roadster Racers. They are, of course, in London for the race. But unfortunately, Mickey gets embroiled in this theft of one of the crown jewels. It, the opening shot is actually an animation of the Tower of London, a very um, simplified version of the Tower of London, but it's very recognisable and I absolutely loved it and straight away I knew this was going to be full of animated landmarks and we did we have Buckingham Palace and the London Eye, absolutely loved it. I think there was one point where I think Pete said stop that Ferris wheel and we never refer to it as a Ferris wheel even though theoretically it's what it is. It just seemed really bizarre um, and M Mickey, Mickey was going to get many uh, a race anniversary gift because this is how everything gets confused because Minnie thinks that the diamond is for her when of course it isn't or the ruby but Mickey is going to buy her a race anniversary gift and he's about to go into one of the tacky tourist shops London if you've ever been here into central London you'll be more than aware that there are hundreds of tacky tourist shops which I love I actually love going in them as long as they're not too busy because I just love all of the mostly London paraphernalia. I absolutely love it. Um, even though I've lived here for six, six-ish years, I still absolutely love it. So for me, the animation, the visual beauty of this was absolutely stunning from start to finish. Everywhere you looked, you could tell it was London. And some people may think they overdid it a bit, but you know, I, I say this proudly, London has a lot of recognisable landmarks. And they really made use of them. The police car. I love the little squat police car. And I love the police officer. Um, Pete. Pete was very stereotypical um, in his mannerisms and his speech as a lord. Not an accurate representation. But that doesn't matter. I thought the character was really fun. He was a great antagonist. I thought the narrative worked very well. The old royal heist. Or ye old royal heist as they make me say it. Was a lot of fun. Yes, with previous episodes we've been to Spain and Italy. I think the last episode was Hawaii. Finally getting to Britain. Absolutely overjoyed by this, of course. And I love the Queen. I love the monarchy. Interestingly, I'm actually discussing this on the day of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Which is a bit insane to think about. Um, so very much a lot of British pride here. If you are from the UK, specifically London, if you've been here a lot... If you're familiar with London landmarks, give it a watch. I think you will thoroughly appreciate the animation. But the narrative itself as well is really interesting. I really enjoyed it. The old royal heist is visually an absolute delight.